Last thing I will do is to say what I did not see. Pray for the three people in this running for election. I told you I have not seen anybody on the seat, but I've seen one. Yes, the word of prophecy. The man of God has yeah. asked, the man of God has asked us all to pray for the three presidential candidates. That though he couldn't see anybody before, but right now he can see one of the candidates on the seat. Can we celebrate God for this prophecy? Can we pray for them? May God help them. This, jo this journey is the most critical journey of this nation. Can we pray the prayer now? Right now, you all about the world. Join us live as we are praying for this candidate, the candidate of the pres that wants to become president in the country, Nigeria, for God to help for them through this Allah. journey. We are still over the world. We are still live and direct at the Sunday Life Series. Are the children of God are currently praying for the three presidential candidates of the presidency position in the country, Nigeria. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I saw Peter be sitting on that seat. In Jesus' name. Amen. Don't rejoice for this prophecy. Don't rejoice for this prophecy. Pray for this prophecy. Listen to me. Can we calm down? Prophet I O Samuel on the 2nd of October 2022 said, I saw Peter be on the seat. First prophecy. Listen. But I have a challenge in the prophecy I'm giving. If you can come down or sit down, I'll give the prophecy. We are all about the world. We are currently listening to a word of prophecy for the presidential candidate in Nigeria. Though the man of God said he couldn't see anyone in the seat before, but that today he has confirmed that he has seen one of the presidential candidates in the person of Peter Obi. Can we celebrate God with the clap of praise? Join me to pray. The seat is sad, never lasted. It became like a stretcher. This is the word of God. Sit, I saw him. Something removed this two, this, this seat. What the seat is using to stand. And it became a stretcher. And so many fighters were in the cloud. That is my challenge. No interpretation yet. We are all over the world. The man of God is going deeper to reveal what he can see in the prophecy for the presidential candidate, Peter Obi. He said, though he can see him on the seat, but at some point in time, he can see that the seat becomes stretched like a stretcher, and he could see some fighters in the cloud. A, a president that will rule for four years cannot be sitting with a stretcher seat. The man of God is still revealing what he can see that the, we should pray for the president because a president who can rule for four years shouldn't be sitting on a stretcher seat. I asked this angel, what is the meaning of this? Identify this stretcher. What does it mean? He said, it can only be used in theater. Right now, the man of God is revealing the meaning of the prophecy after communicating with the angels to identify what the stretcher could mean. And he said it can only be used in the theater, meaning we should pray for the health of the presidential candidate. I leave this prophecy like this now. The man of God has said for now, this will be all for the prophecy. This revelation is a sickness in our soul. As a prophet, if you can see it. The man of God is saying that this revelation is like a sickness in their soul as a prophet because his eyes are being It is too to early to jubilate. Right now, the man of God is advising us that it is too early to jubilate. 
and very early to give up. And still very, very early to give up. I will never utter my word God did not show me. The man of God is making us to understand that he will never say a word that the Lord God Almighty has not revealed to him. So one of the candidates pray for the person not to disappear. Among the three presidential candidates, the man of God is to give a word of prophecy that we should pray that one of them should not disappear. With the grace I have received now, that my prophecy shall be improved. The man of God is making us understand that currently with the grace following him, his prophecies are going to be in Proverbs. God enforced this prophecy in me before people will begin to say different things. The man of God is making us understand that God enforced this prophecy in him so that people will not misinterpret him or say something completely different. I, I am not comfortable with what I have seen. The man of God making us to understand that why we're building this prophecy is definitely not comfortable because of the things he's seen. There is no stability in what I'm seeing. The man of God is advising us and telling us that with what he's seeing, there is no stability in it. Let us pray. Let joy not turn to bitterness for this nation. We are all about the world as the man of God is revealing this prophecy. is asking us all to pray that our joy shall not turn into bitterness. It is too early to jubilate. The man of God is cautioning us all that it is too early to jubilate. And too early to give up. And definitely too early to give up on this prophecy. This prophecy should not be interpreted by any man. Let us watch it happen as we pray. We have all heard the prophecy and the man of God has asked us all not to interpret this prophecy by anyone. But we should just watch and pray and see God reveal things by himself. Even if me, if I interpret this prophecy, I must make great mistake. The man of God is also making us understand that even he himself cannot interpret this prophecy. The challenge we have is that one person will rule one nation. The man of God is making us understand that the challenge we have that one person will rule one nation. Because these candidates, the mindset they have is, I must be there. And no one else. Each one of them. The man of God is going deeper to reveal the mindset of this three presidential candidate. That all of them have made up their mind that one of them must be the ruler. They the almighty the God has a way of solving a problem that cannot be solved. It's either by eliminating or by covering or by pushing one away. The man of God is making us to believe and to hope that God has a way of solving problems that seems difficult, either by elimination, pushing away, or making things we are, right. We are preparing elections. Some people are preparing for war. The man of God is going deeper to reveal another part of this prophecy that why people are preparing for elections, some people are preparing for war. The Lord told me anywhere they mention this prophecy by my mouth, there will be jubilation because they don't understand yet what I'm trying to say. The man of God is making us understand that the Lord revealed to him that by the time he mentioned this prophecy, there will be jubilation, but the people will not understand the deeper secret of this prophecy. We can only stop praying for this prophecy if new elected president stay four years. Right now, the man of God is drawing our attention and asks us to be cautioned that we, should stop, we shouldn't stop praying for this prophecy until after four years when the new president has been elected and lasted. This is a very stubborn group against this nation. The man of God is saying that it's a very stubborn group that is against this nation. They are group as a sect. Mark my words. And group as occultic people that this nation will not move. They may be black, they may be white. The man of God is making us understand deeper things about this particular group that they have been set up, groomed, and set up to make sure that nobody, there's no peace in the country, Nigeria, that there's no election. So that calls for serious prayer and not just rally. You are all about the world. The man of God has given these prophecies, emphasizing that this calls for serious prayer and not just rally. I see a result tearing into two, two different results. The man of God is giving more revelations of what he's seeing, that he can see that there are two different results turning into two. I'm seeing eye neck confused. 
and you can see the ionic body being confused. Because of that, there will be shifting and postponement of each time. In. The man of God is saying, because of this, you can see shifting and shifting and postponement of each timing of the elections of the election dates mind your speeches now politicians you may lose your life this is the word of prophecy to all political persons and all over the world especially in Nigeria that you should mind your speech and choice of word so that you would not lose your life there are demons entering people to make speeches whether it's right or wrong they just talk for them to lose their life the man of God making us understand that there's demon roaming about, about to enter people just for them to make speeches and for them to just to lose their life. God has given us a expo. The man of God is making us understand that this is God expo to us all as Nigerians. He said, I will install president. Human beings should not install president. And the man of God has made us understand the word of the Lord God Almighty that he himself will install president and if, no man should install him. If we, in our strength as human, install president, he will leave us to our own power. The man of God is also making us understand the warning of our Lord God Almighty that we as humans should not install president by ourselves because if we do, it will leave us to if our own If you are hearing me or watching me, share on social media, get God involved 100%. If you are all over the world, wherever you're watching us live from, this is a word of prophecy and the man of God advising us all to get God involved in everything we do and everything that concerns the presidential candidate. He said, remember, I'm a jealous God. If you share glory with me, I will take my glory back. The man of God is warning us about the words of God Almighty, that he is a jealous God, and if you share glory with him, he will take back his glory. So I am advising... The both parties, especially the, the Labour Party. There is a word of advice to the both parties, all the parties that are contesting for the presidential seat, and especially to the Labour Party. You know, we have advice, we have prophetic advice. Here is a word of advice to everyone who is listening, especially the political parties. The same way I declare that I saw this man on the seat. If we don't put God, you will see another person there and you'll be surprised. We pray also about the world and those in the congregation here is the word of caution that this same way he has said that he can see someone in the seat that if we do not speak to God and walk with God that the same way we will see other person, another person being in Just because of sharing his glory. Just because of sharing the glory of God. Thus says the Lord of hosts. Can we put our hands together for Jesus for this one of prophecy? And we hope that everyone all over the world, especially those watching us on social media, pay attention to this and God will set us all free in the name of Jesus. The prophecy given is not because of the noise in town. It does not move God. What moves God is what he wants to do. The man of God is making us understand that this prophecy is not because of the noise in town. But what exactly moves God?